You can tell that WB does not give a shit about female superheroes. They don't give a fuck. It's a throwaway character. You know what? I'm actually hoping for that. I'm hoping that they're going to throw in a, a throwaway Wonder Woman. That's the best we can hope for, Bay. I know you're a huge fan of Wonder Woman, and I'm a huge fan of Wonder Woman. I mean, if they would have just done the animated movie. Literally, if you take that animated movie that came out, I forgot when it was, but it was one of DC's animation's first movies, and it is fucking amazing. Like, literally, it's in my top five movies, animated movies of all time. I know, and it made me a Wonder Woman fan too. If they literally took that movie and did a live action fucking version, we would have the world's first amazingly popular female superheroine. And I recommend everybody go out and fucking watch that movie. Go buy that movie right now. It was worth every fucking penny. Now you're putting in Gal Gadot. What did Gal Gadot do to earn that role? Oh my god, in Fast and the Furious, that's my Wonder Woman. It's, she doesn't have the Wonder Woman body type. Like, why couldn't we get somebody to herald in, you know, this new image for women that it's okay to be bigger, it's okay to have curves, it's okay to be toned instead of this, you know, Miss America. You know, she's Miss Israel. This Miss America, like, runway model type thing. Why couldn't we have chosen Gina Carano, who can knock out those action scenes? Like, there were nothing. You know, even though, actually, you know, Gina may not be the best actress. But, uh, no, I think she held her own in Haywire. What do you think? Yeah, and like, like I said, uh, some people may say that Gina Carano is not a good actress, but she has about the same experience as this gull person. Yeah, and they were both in Fast and Furious, so they're both yeah. apparently, according to Snyder, have the Fast and the, have the Wonder Woman qualities because they were both in Fast and the Furious. And I believe I believe Gina Carano was actually looking forward to to. Uh, seeing a Wonder Woman because she expressed that she wanted to see a Wonder Woman movie. Yeah. So I thought that was really cool. I, you know, I'm not saying that Gina deserves a role because there was that other girl that I would prefer. Um, I forget her name, but she's from John Carter from Mars. Did you see that? I think that she'd do a good job. Hell, I think Siv from uh, Marvel, uh, Marvel Store. Would have been really good. And the point is, I just so don't I see Gaul as Wonder Woman. You know, and, and I'm not saying Wonder Woman's fat. She's not fat. She's just she's just bigger, more muscular. She's toned. She's and you know there are she's women that dedicate their yeah. life to like There are women of all shapes and sizes and you never see that. You see athletic women, you see muscular women, you see bigger women, you see more curvaceous women, but you don't see that in media. What you see is you see yeah, yeah. Miss America or, you know, uh, the magazine. And I'm just I'm just sad to see that we're going to get the same thing possibly with, uh, you know, Wonder Woman. And I, oh, no, she needs to go through Jim Jones. That's what I did. You know, they put they put Henry Cavill and they put Michael Shannon, just like Henry, just like Michael, just like Fiora. She needs to go through Jim Jones right now. She needs to pack on like 40 pounds of muscle. Working out and lifting weights made me experience that there's beauty to physical strength and, and, and fearlessness and power. Eventually you come to a point where your mind allows you to break through your physical boundaries and takes you to places where you think you could never go to. Is she even willing to do that? Because you know the actors have to agree to do that. You know, and Russell Crowe went through Jim Jones as well, but I think his workout program was a little oh less intense. God. I would shave a million Harry backs to be Wonder Woman, so if she doesn't do that, yeah. then there's something wrong with her. Yeah, I would, be, I would be super, super fucking pissed, but uh, I, I just want to know, did she blow away everybody in the casting room? Everybody was like, this is a fucking Wonder Woman. Something interesting about this car? Just admiring the body work. Are you one of those boys who prefers cars to women? I'm one of those boys that appreciates a fine body regardless of the neck. So now that I know you're tasting cars, tell me, what about your women? 20% angel, 80% devil. Down to earth. That doesn't sound anything like me. 
फिर है She can have her. She can carry her own movie. She can do it. Or is this just Zack Snyder having no idea how to write women and having no respect for the Wonder Woman character? And WB's just like put in Wonder Woman, and Zack's like, all right, you know. And it's everything that's against what Wonder Woman stands for, you stupid moron. But yeah. I don't think I don't think they'll let him do that. And and you know Goyer knows enough about comics if he's helping write it that they wouldn't do that. But I mean I was a little scared there because that's kind of this other girl's claim to fame. Oh, and she's in Fast and Furious. But so was Gina. So I don't know. Calling a couple extra guys. Or you don't send a man to do a woman's job. Super. dizer e disse que falador passa mal e você me disse que cada um vai colher o que plantou porque raiz sem alma como o flip falou é tri deixa falar eu continuo viajando enquanto eu falo besteira nego vai vai like her first tweet saying that she's excited she missed so wonder woman she's like hey wonder women i can't wait i'm so excited i was like are you wonder women are you like both of the women uh, God damn, man. So we'll see. Well, I mean, if she does a great job, that's fine. But I'm just telling you right now, I'm worried as hell about the project. Even if Gall really knocks it out of the park, she's got no opportunity to knock it out of the park. How? They're shoving so many fucking people into this movie. Wonder Woman, Flash, Batman, into Superman sequel. What the, what the fuck? What's the worst part about this, babe? Is that they're compromising their own... WB is compromising their own characters to compete with Marvel, to try to play catch up with Marvel. This is the wrong way to approach it. You're completely slapping all the Superman... Who in the hell is this movie for? It's called the Man... It's this Man of Steel sequel, and Superman has been marginalized. You got Batman here, now you got Wonder Woman. Now there's rumors they want to put Flash in it. Flash needs his own movie. It's Wonder not, Woman needs her own movie. It's not for people who enjoy really good writing, strong writing. It's not for people who like The Dark Knight and love those movies. It's not for people who love the characters. It's for WB to make money off the fans so that they can catch up with Marvel. To just cram all the superheroes in one and make like an Avengers type movie so that everyone will go. It's like a summer blockbuster. It's a summer blockbuster. They put them... Yeah. They put as much names in it as possible, Wonder Woman. It's not Gal Gadot, it's Wonder Woman. It, you know, it's not Flash, or it's not whoever they pick for Flash. It's all, the Flash name is in it. Oh, we gotta go see it. Batman's in it, Flash is in it, Wonder Woman's in it. Oh, it's fucking Justice League. Might as well just fucking call this shit Justice League. Call it Batman, Superman, Justice League. Fuck Superman sequel. Just fuck it. Just go, go all in. Go fuck, go fucking make your Justice League movie right now, DC. This is a fucking mess. I may not have liked Man of Steel as much as you. I thought it was an all-white film, but I thought Henry Cavill really yeah. made me believe he was Superman. Oh, man, yeah. I was really looking forward to seeing him as Clark Kent more than anything. Yeah. And not, not being able to see him in that role the way it should be. Um, it should focus on him. Right, should focus on him, but no. Oh, hey guys, remember Batman? So here comes Batman to beat up Superman, take him down a peg, because hey, guess what? Dark Knight Trilogy, Nolan, he made us a billion dollars. Remember Batman? Yeah, Batman's cool, because he's the more popular superhero, guys. We still love you Batman fans. Fuck Superman. Yeah, whatever. He made us 662 million, whatever. You guys are the best. Batman, 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 Batman. <laughs> I mean, fucking Iron Man got two fucking movies. Hulk, Hulk got like three. Fucking Fantastic Four got two movies. Yeah. You're telling me Superman can't have two fucking movies without all these assholes showing up? Everybody, go, go home. This is my fucking movie. Get out of here. And now what we're doing, we're doing a, I hope that they do a throwaway Wonder Woman that they just throw her in here to get all the names and then, oh, the movie's really successful. Okay, now we gotta do a Justice League movie. Okay, we're recasting Wonder Woman. That's what I can hope for. 
is that she will literally be in a throwaway scene like in the background. Oh, hey, is that uh, Diana? Oh, yeah, that girl's name's Diana. You know? <laughs> Diana? Okay, later. Roll the credits. That's what I'm hoping for. You know? That we have, that, that's the best thing we have to look forward to. But, but you, know, you know, the, the thing, thing about Batman, Batman is he's, he's obviously going to be in a suit. You don't, you don't really have to be the world's greatest actor to play Batman. Batman. But, but I think that you do have to have a commanding presence to be Wonder Woman. And do I oh see that in that She does not have a commanding presence. I, I mean, this project is in deep trouble. This is strike two. And... I don't know. I just, I'm sorry for ranting so much, but I really care about Batman. I really care about Superman, obviously. And I care about Wonder Woman. And these are, you know, my favorite superheroes. Top three superheroes. There they are, right there. The Trinity. And, uh, and it's really, uh, this is so nerve-wracking because these are my childhood heroes. And you see how well Marvel took care of everything. Marvel cares about their heroes. They care about their characters. They let their characters develop up and then do a combined movie. The reason why we care about Thor, the reason why we care about Iron Man, is because we, we've been through so much with them already. You're going to throw in Wonder Woman, you're going to throw in Flash, and then all of a sudden we're going to have a fucking Justice League movie. You know, it's just not, it's not the right way to introduce the characters. Unless you're introducing them and throw away cameos, and then you're like, all right, guess what? All the heroes are waking up now because Superman and Batman are fighting out in the open. And now they need to work together to take down Lex. And they did it! Hooray! And all the other heroes are like, Hooray! I need to come out of hiding! So I am Wonder Woman! And I am Flash! Hi, Batman! Hi, Superman! I'm Flash! Let's do it! And then the credits roll. And then we get our Justice League movie and they recast those assholes. You know? Uh, the fucking Wonder Woman and the and, and the thing, or they give them their own movies, then do the Justice League movie. That might be fine, but I'm just not seeing it right now. Uh, I'm really not. In fact, <laughs> but no, <laughs> I went on this, I went on this big ass rant. You know, oh man. In fact, I'm gonna put this up. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this particular rant, this particular oh, discussion. Sick, really I'm sick too, but we're sick and we're talking about it. And this is what people are doing right now is they're fucking talking about this right now. And I loved our genuine conversation just now. I gotta put it up. I know how much you care about Wonder Woman, and you became a fan of Wonder Woman after looking at all the stuff, and now. They're just treating her like garbage. Like she's a throwaway character, like a side character. Yeah, just shove her in the movie. Flash 2. Shove Flash. Flash is nobody. Shove him in. Dude, Flash is fucking awesome, man. You know, toss him in there like he's nothing. But we all know. As if that wasn't, as if it wasn't clear enough already, now it's confirmation. That literally. WB will just compromise their characters and their stories in order to make more money and compete with Marvel and do something that's probably not the best way of approaching something in order to make more money. And that's how I'm going to end this freaking Man of Steel rant, which is like my second Man of Steel I'm rant. Huh? I'm sick as fuck. I'm sick as fuck too. So hopefully we get better soon and I can bring you more videos. And they're coming. They're on their way. So I'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show.